stay tuned for that. Pretty sure I'm gonna do that video. Coaster bags, which this is all overstocked. This package, I got my Timu order, and I just don't think anyone's gonna buy it. Are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. I just finished this sheet. Love Duncan, best dog ever, so cute, so smart. The training's going great, but Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm starting this video in my kitchen. It's another market prep market vlog. Um, I'm also starting this video later in the week than I typically do. Uh, today is Thursday, the market is Saturday. So I have today, tomorrow to make a ton of inventory and then Saturday is the market. I'm making breakfast right now. My friend was visiting from New York the past three days, three and a half days. So I got some inventory made, which I'll show you but obviously I was visiting with her so I wasn't working as much. Also, we have some exciting things in the works. First thing is I'm pretty sure I wanna make punch needle kits for like individual coasters, probably not car coasters, we'll see, but at least like big coasters. So that's something that's definitely gonna take some time in terms of creating a tutorial, getting all the appropriate materials together, especially their correct quantities of yarn and everything. Um, so that's something I really want to do, Sean really wants me to do, so that's kind of in the works. He already ordered some punch needles for it, um, so that's the first exciting update. And then also, I'm pretty sure one of my next videos is going to be a like how to punch needle, revealing all my secrets type video. Um, I've gone back and forth because it seems in the punch needle community, myself included, we're kind of hesitant to give away like the names of all of our materials, manufacturers, just, I mean, within any business, I think people are hesitant to say what manufacturer they use, the exact materials they use, just because it's like, would you call it intellectual property? I'm not sure, but it's, you know, the business's own recipe you don't really give that out for other people to freely copy. Um, but I've, I've also been guilty of messaging punch needle people in the past, asking them what brand of yarn they use or what yarn they use, because it is so hard to figure out the right combination. Um, but I think you have to go into that knowing that they might not answer you and just respect that. I didn't feel entitled to get that information from these businesses. And I just want to say that. I don't feel like I have entitled people asking me that. There was just one comment that she asked and I responded and she's like, oh, okay then. You know, just understand what you're asking and you just might not get an answer. So I have answered some people in the past about the yarn I use. The material I use, I'm like more secretive about. But like I said, I think I'm gonna do a video just revealing all of it because it is hard to figure out. And there's more to a business than knowing how to make the product, so I, I think I feel okay just telling people how to make it, giving them the materials they need, and then if they want to make a business, you know, that's a whole other monster. Also though, I don't want to disrespect like the punch needle community because I know people are secretive about it, and I don't want to just like reveal their secrets too, but I don't think I am because like I said, everyone has their own recipe. Stay tuned for that. Pretty sure I'm gonna do that video. Um, I'm putting it together, like trying to figure out the past combinations I've used in terms of yarn, fabric, and punch needle. And then the current one I use, I have three different combinations I've used. I'm gonna have photos showing how all the coasters looked with those combinations. Um, and then I wanna also show how to punch needle, or at least like an introduction to punch needling. So, I don't know. I just feel like it would, it would definitely be super helpful. I have a lot of people asking different questions. Um, regarding punch needling and I am on YouTube punch needling so it does feel appropriate to explain a little more about how to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna finish making breakfast, eat it, and then we're gonna get to work on some inventory. Okay, I just finished eating and I want to show you the progress I have on the coasters. So I did Kirby, Pooh Bear, the top row are four orders. So I have one order I think is the bee and flower and then the other is the landscape and flower and then the watermelon, Kirby's, and then these smiles are for my own inventory, as are these. 
So everything I continue to do on this sheet is for my own inventory, unless I get an order this morning. So I'm just gonna keep working. Also, I made my Kirby design a little smaller because it was just like so big and unnecessary. I assume they're still gonna sell at this size. It's not even that noticeably smaller, but I can tell. But let's get to work. Dear diary, I'm feeling lost again. Thinking of way back when. Every night I'd sit down to write. Dear diary, no longer an ink affair. My fingers now glide. It's 11 a.m. I'm still working on coasters. I just finished the smiley faces. So everything I had traced on here is done, but I still have some room on there. So I wanna do a new design. Sean wanted to create some market only designs. So designs that you can only get at the markets. Although one of them I might list on Etsy. So he traced three designs. I need to go over them in Sharpie. I have a New Hampshire one, which I might also put on Etsy if it turns out good a Boston or yeah a Boston Red Sox and then a Boston Bruins so we'll see how those turn out but right now I think I'm gonna start by doing the New Hampshire one and see how that turns out I want to do it in green and then with a blue background and then this is one that I could do really in any color with any background but I want to start off with those colors just because I think it's like a good combo it's like nature earth vibes so I'm just outlining in Sharpie and I'm gonna trace this onto my sheet and hopefully it turns out cool. That'd be a cool design to have, so let's try it. story paper to data and data to glory adding the lines to my digital diet okay so i just finished the first new hampshire coaster and of course it took me finishing the whole thing to realize that sean traced the stencil normally like how new hampshire is normally faced and so when i punch needle a design it mirrors it so the New Hampshire is flipped, and I just don't think anyone's gonna buy it like that, and if they do, it's because they're not gonna realize it was flipped, and then later someone might be like, you know, New Hampshire's facing the wrong way on your coaster, so I'd rather just not sell it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the yarn out of the green and retrace. Not my favorite thing, ruining my work, but that's okay. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I don't think this is gonna work, um, tracing it again, because it's just like, I can't, it's like elevated on this side, so I can't actually see through to trace it properly. Um, and it's, I would have to pull up more blue fabric, I mean more blue yarn. So I'm trying to decide what to do with this. Um, hmm, <laughs> I might make a smiley face with it. That's kind of, oh gosh, I don't know what to do with it. I'm also wondering if I should literally just make a blue coaster because I have had people ask me if I do just like solid colors so I could do a blue and green coaster. I just don't think they'd like sell. I don't know. I feel like a smiley face is the best bet. It's hard because I will have to pull out the blue yarn for a lot of the designs that I could do including the smiley face. I'm really tempted to just make a blue coaster, a blue and green coaster. I think that's what I'm going to do. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We will see. I just finished the two coasters, so they're solid coasters. Um, this will be interesting to see if they sell, because I don't have faith that they'll sell, but it's just funny how like sometimes things you don't think you're gonna sell, sell like that, so we'll see. And I have to say, it's crazy how fast time goes by when I'm punch needling. It is 11.50 right now. So I've been sitting here for an hour, which it doesn't feel like it. I'm almost on the sheet. I wanna add some phone grips. So I think I'm gonna do three phone grips. One, one or two here, actually. There's room here for some, here. So I might have plenty of room to do phone grips. Maybe I'll do like five. But yeah, 
that's the plan. Then we're gonna finish the backs of all of this. Okay, it is almost one o'clock. It's 12.52 and I just finished this sheet. Um, I did one, two, three, four phone grips. So this is very full. I'm ready to finish the backings. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it in my office or not because Duncan is awake, which means he's gonna get into things if I'm not watching him. So I might start working on them here and then do all the gluing and backing in my office. And then after, um, I wanna do some tote bags. I wanna at least get two tote bags made. And then I also have an exciting package to open. So I wanna get to doing that today as well. So stay tuned, but for now, we're gonna finish the backings of the coasters and phone grips. Since we last stuck, but now you're hitting me up, telling me that it's been too long. And you wanna meet up, you said your favorite coffee shop was just on the block, so we met up for a cup and then went for a walk. But you were on your phone the whole time, what was up with that? Cause if you wanted me, talk to me. that I'll see you then. Well, now I'm waiting for you here, yeah. When you call up my phone, say you're sorry you forgot and left me on my own. But you're the one who wanted my time. What is up with that? Cause if you wanted me, talk to So I just restocked car coasters and the phone grips and then the two big coasters I did. And now I'm gonna pack the two orders. It's three o'clock, so I think the mailman already came and collected the mail in the apartment complex. So I'm gonna set these to ship tomorrow, but we have a flower and landscape and then a flower and bee. So let's pack these up. Okay, I just packed up those orders and I'll ship them tomorrow. Um, I also was filming it for TikTok, so hopefully the footage for YouTube is okay. I was like focusing on the phone footage. But right now I'm gonna open a very exciting package. Also, I have a package from Timu coming. I don't know how I feel about that company. I haven't like really researched into it, which maybe I should have before ordering in terms of how ethical it is. I mean, I did, I did like general research and I didn't find anything sketchy. From my understanding, the prices are so low because they connect customers directly with the suppliers. So if that's a real reason, I don't see an issue, but I'm gonna open the Timu package on this video and kinda do a quick first impression of everything I got. But yeah, also I'm looking at my stickers right now and I need to do some restocking. At least on one of the stickers, I'm out of my um, Yorkie sticker. But for now, I got a sewing machine. I don't know how to use a sewing machine. I don't think I've ever used a sewing machine in my life. But I just, I feel like it, it would be a fun thing to learn. I kind of got this for one reason. I want to make bandanas for Duncan. Also, I feel like I could make and sell them. That could be cool. Oh my God, I'm gonna need to find like a spot for this. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at this and set it up. Here it is. 
my own sewing machine. It's by Brother. I've heard good things about Brother. I know they do like embroidery machines and things like that. So this had good reviews as a beginner sewing machine. I also got embroidery thread to go with it because I don't think it comes with any. So this is a whole bunch of different colors. This is by Sim Thread. Sim Thread, high quality thread. I don't know how it is because I haven't used it, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna check on Duncan because I gave him a Kong uh, to work on and I feel like I hear him rustling. So I don't know if he's done with it. Are you done with it? Did you get a sip of water? Was it yummy? But right now I'm gonna work on some tote bags. I'm actually first gonna edit the video for TikTok that I just filmed of packing those orders. But yeah, then I will work on tote bags. Life right now is a movie. I wanted to share. Love Duncan, best dog ever, so cute, so smart. The training's going great, but you know, he's mouthy, he's a puppy. And this is completely my fault. I shouldn't leave things around him that I don't want damaged or chewed on. And I accidentally left my laptop open on the couch. And this was like a few days ago. And as you can imagine, he was chewing on my laptop. And I got this laptop like two, three months ago, brand new. And every time I open it up, it looks worse. So let me show you. Um, so he chewed on the upper left corner of it. Right here, you can even see like the marks, which made all of this corner black. And then there was only like one line here, one line here. And now there's like so many lines. I definitely need to replace the screen. Um, so I'm like, still looking into places that can hopefully fix it for cheaper than Apple. Also, he was chewing on a shelf that I had my camera on and my camera fell and it, <laughs> at first I thought my camera broke, but just the lens cover broke. So when I close my camera, the lens doesn't get fully protected, but yeah, so I'm learning. <laughs> I need to be more careful around him. I mean, I thought I was, but clearly we're having some issues. But I just put the stickers into Canvas. I don't know if I ever showed this process. And if I have, it's been a while. Did I say Canvas? I meant uh, Cricut. Once I have the designs in, I just resize it. Um, and my like go-to size is having the widest or longest dimension, um, three inches. So, for example, I have a Taylor Swift sticker right here. I select it. The height is set to 11. The width is 14. That's just what it is when I import it. So I'm going to change the width to three. And then I go through with all my other designs. The ones that I forget, if I use three as a dimension, I can go back into previous projects where they are and see what the dimension is there. I know for a fact all my cat and dog stickers are three inches tall, but yeah, resizing all this. Then I'm gonna copy and paste to duplicate some of them and then get printing, laminating, and cutting. Okay, I'm still making stickers. The last sheet is printing right now. And I'm gonna hang up the calendar that I showed, I think in my last vlog, um, because I'm putting off doing that. And if I keep putting it off, it's never gonna get hung up. So I'm gonna do that and then also write the dates on the calendar. So I already marked up the wall and it seems to be pretty centered or level. So let's just hope because you know, Perfect, nice, that is totally level enough. 
I'm gonna write the dates on this after I make stickers or while I'm making stickers. So it might be cutting back and forth from me making stickers and doing this. To the director of life Think he made a mistake with his design This was supposed to be a comedy Not an apocalyptic tragedy Everybody on the set is confused Wait, This used to be fun, no, we're not amused nope. Casting the crew to meant to be removed Dude, yeah. seriously. We used to see All this on Netflix Cheesy action flicks Now you and me Are living in it Cause life right now is a movie Just bought Sims. It was on sale for 99. Man, what a weird time of the time. Need to keep busy. Trying to eat the hours away. Who knew that I like Milky Way? Wake up, I'm ready to go. Yeah, feeling so good in control. Yeah, think of the places I could be. So I give up and watch TV. I think I'm going crazy, pacing around my room. Tell me that it gets better being alone, alone together. The world is upside down and I'm turning inside out. The sun and tracing clouds I can't believe I'm missing crowds Time moving so slow Again I'm staring at my phone Yesterday feels a year ago Wake up, I'm ready to go Yeah, feeling so good in control Yeah, then think of the places I could be So I give up and watch the TV I think I'm going I am at my parents right now. Sean's behind the camera. So I might be talking to him about this package. I got my Timu order. And then also I got some more felt, well, I got some more fabric I use, which stay tuned if I do that video. Let me know if that's like something you want. I'm sure it is. It, I get the vibe that people would want a video of me explaining how to punch needle and also like what I used. But I got more fabric. And I also got, oh, is this just the felt? No, I got fabric too, okay. I got felt because the felt that I was using is from Michaels, and pretty sure it's being discontinued. Oh, good, I think good. this will be good. Nice. Don't you think? I didn't want it to be too thin, yeah. that's my thing. So I got a bunch of felt. Oh, it was really low, that's yay! All felt. Yeah. <laughs> so your fabric's still coming It's like yards and yards of felt. No, the fabric's in here. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay, and then let's open this up. Let's get Duncan in the angle because that's cute. Okay, it's like a bunch of random stuff. I remember a couple of the things I got. I know I got bins and then I got this cute uh, cutter, like a box opener. And then I got washi tape, so we'll see how that is. I don't think this is going to disappoint me. Okay, so if you know these bins, they're from... Typically, people get them from Hay, I think. That's where I got mine. Um, every business owner, I swear, has these bins. They're so aesthetic. They're so cute. So, another awesome thing about them, too, is that they're collapsible. So, you can, like, use them for pop-ups if you want and just, like, collapse them. Oh, yes! 
oh my god these are literally the same thing and they're like 10 to 15 dollars a piece on hay <gasps> oh my god i think i'm gonna have to get more of these although i need to have like a use for them <laughs> i don't know exactly how i'm gonna use these yet oh my gosh this is so cool i think all of this stuff was like 50 dollars total so keep that in mind i'm like i don't know why i'm setting them up but <laughs> yay okay okay then this one is like the same vibe but it has a handle and i've never seen it like this so i was very intrigued <gasps> whoa okay and then these flat down oh my god oh look sean oh uh -huh. <laughs> it's cute are you for your pop-up yeah like for pop sockets or something i could figure out i could figure something out I think I'm gonna use most of them for the shipping station, like uh, packaging supplies to store them in. And then I got another set. This has this has a big one and then a small one. So I got a ton of those baskets. Okay, then oh my gosh, I got another small one in blue. <laughs> then I got these little box openers. Let me get closer. So it's like a little cloud, and then box cutter how cute oh it locks okay so it comes in blue white and pink then oh my gosh i didn't know what this was this is really cool this is a washi tape dispenser so i want to organize my washi tape it's like thrown into a mug right now and then in my shopping little shopping cart that i have in my office so i want to put it on this cool and it should work. We will see. It looks like it would work. I believe I got two of those. I did. So I have two of those. This is Sean's idea. This is a light for when I trace my designs on my tote bags or like my coaster designs um, where I need light. Cool. Yeah. So you charge it and then it's just, you, I can put it in my tote bag. This will be cool. I have two more things. The first is another box cutter okay so it has a heart and then <laughs> it broke <laughs> i guess you get what you pay for this was inexpensive i might order another one because it's cute right but this is what it's supposed to look like <laughs> i can't <laughs> ah. this is the washi tape um it's in a smaller box than i thought it was like it's so so tiny but they're pink colors which if you're not new here you know all my branding is pink i'm excited that's everything i got um double checking and it all came in one package which is interesting i really don't understand their business model but okay i will see you later i've already started working on the tote bag i just didn't film it i think i'm gonna work more on it here i think i'm gonna film putting this stuff in my office too so you can see like how i use everything i'm back home and i have my bag of goodies and i want to start putting some of it in the office so first i want to set up this little basket and i think i'm just going to use it for like my tufted goods care cards let me show you so on my desk i have this little shelf and i have care cards here so i think i'm going to put these in here like that and then maybe i have this dish with like paper clips elastics i think that would be cuter in a container and then I also have like sticky notes. I feel like that would be cute. I could also use one for glue sticks. That's a great idea. So I could have two bins here. I feel like this would work really well actually because I always am running out of glue sticks even with the crazy amount that I can fit into the wooden container that I had. Like it's a lot, but I still go through them really quickly. So this might be perfect. And then over here is where I think I can use some other bins, like I have here, for example. I put my phone grip backings here in one of these bins, and these ones are from Hay, and they're honestly just as good quality. The Hay ones might be a little better, but they're like not noticeable. And like I'm not using this for any crazy purpose that they need to be like super high quality, you know what I mean? But like just off the bat, like this is, this one's having a little trouble. Snapping in. 
Okay, let me try to snap this together and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so with Sean's help, I got this one put together. It was pretty hard to snap them into place and then one of the little like tiny pieces that you snap in broke on this side. So I just put a little piece of tape, you can't even tell. I'm gonna put my keychain bags to start in here. Okay, wow, that's like perfect. So I have the keychain bags here and then I'm gonna add my um, coaster bags, which this is all overstock. I have some of these open already on my desk. And I usually just grab a pack of these at a time and then open them up, so I'm gonna keep those in the pack. I think I'll put my sticker bags in here as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the thank you notes in a bin as well. And then I'm wondering if this could fold these because these are um, also overstock poly mailers. Cute, okay, so that can go here. Okay, so I have all these thank you notes. They fit perfectly. So nice. How perfect is that? Okay, so that's the smaller one. But I think this looks really nice. I'm excited. So for the desk area, I have a couple of new things. I want to get my washi tape organized. So as I was saying, I have a bunch of washi tape right here. I think this is all I can fit. Okay, so these are all ready to go. Looks so cute. I'm gonna do the other one off camera as well and then show you. I love it, it looks so cute. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rolls on top, and then seven on the bottom, because the rolls are different sizes, but that's pretty good. I still have all of this left over though, so I might order another one or two of these, but I think this is so cute. I don't know exactly where I want to put it. I'm trying to declutter the space over here. As you can see, I have a lot going on. I think I want to take away this candle and the clock for now and then maybe I can move this a little bit put the washi tape in here I don't know I'm gonna have to see what I think looks best sometimes like a cluttered space isn't horrible if it's done intentionally but to me it's just looking cluttered and I don't like it I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now honestly maybe I can get more shelving and put it above my pegboard here like I could get shelving either to the side of the pegboard or right above it. Like this is a huge wall and use some of this to decorate. Okay, I didn't plan on rearranging my whole desk, but maybe I can move this pencil holder to like back here. It's a little more hidden, but I know it's there. And then I put this vase up here. It was over there, but I already have like this vase with flowers. Let me know if you like how this looks. I mean, I'm working with what I got, um, but I think it's cute. This one's so cute, I might want to use it at pop-ups for either a current product or an upcoming product, but I don't have any products upcoming. What else could I put in here? Let me know if you have any ideas. I was thinking phone grips, but I think this is just too big. I'm not going to ever have that many phone grips. Maybe, well, never say never, but not anytime soon. But the second shelf is the only shelf that doesn't use these right now. And obviously I can take them out if I decide I want these for something else, but these are my Christmas poly mailers store them in here. So now this is what the packing slash supply station is looking like and I think it looks so cute. Let me know. Some people might think it's too many of those bins but I feel like it just makes it all go together. Good morning. It is the next morning, it's Friday, and I'm wearing the same outfit because I slept in this <laughs> and I need to shower and change and get ready for the day still. Um, I just had breakfast and he eats breakfast in 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay, okay, but I'm gonna work on the tote bag for a little bit. Maybe I'll even finish it before I shower and get myself ready for the day. And my goal today is to make tote bag. I might even make more stickers because I made them yesterday, but there's still a couple that I forgot to restock. <laughs> but yeah, let's get the day started. So let's just keep it simple. 
Okay, I just finished punch needling the tote bag and I'm gonna do the back of it. I have it right in front of me. But I wanted to talk a little bit about my game plan for today. I was kind of figuring it out as I was punch needling. So after I finish this tote bag, I'm gonna go shower, get myself ready like I was saying. It's almost 10 o'clock, so kind of a late start with getting ready, but that's okay. And then I want to make a TikTok today of everything that I showed you yesterday that I got from Timu, like small business Timu finds type video. And also I figured out what I want to do with this basket. So I last night ordered a bunch of like freebie items that I want to fill this basket up with. So I have like AC clips for your car, um, bracelets, beaded rings, scrunchies, stickers, things like that. I want to fill the basket with those. And then when I do TikTok lives, I think I'm going to do like a free gift if you place an order on TikTok live or like a $30 or more order. Or um, I could also do like orders over $40 placed on TikTok, get a free scoop uh, from the gift basket. I did order a scoop too. Um, so we'll see. What do you think would be better? I think this video will be up before I start doing that. I feel like the free gift would be better because then I can just like pick a few things. It won't be like someone getting a scoop and it's like a bunch of duplicate items. I can pick a few things, put them in a bag, put a free gift sticker on there, and then have those little gift bags for people who order on TikTok or who spend more than $30 during my TikTok live. I'm trying to get back into doing TikTok lives. I just feel like my setup's not great. Like in front of me, it's aesthetic. Behind me, it's not. And when I do TikTok lives, what people see is what's behind me. Like, obviously, you can see what's behind me. And then this is what's in front of me, which is way cuter. But yeah, I want to find a way to put, like, my coasters displayed behind me. Whoa, my camera, like, tilts. If you ever notice that, the camera is like this, but the frame is tilting. Um, so yeah, that's my thought process and i'm excited for those little gifts to come in oh also i want to um clean my office today i think after i shower i'm gonna clean up the office because it's just feeling a little cluttered there's a lot of boxes of things in here i also might make a couple of stickers i just approved my keychains to be shipped so with my manufacturer i send the designs she sends a proof of like the cut of the design and then I approve that and then once the designs are actually, the keychains are actually made, she sends a photo of a few of them, I approve that and then they ship them. So they should be shipping out today or tomorrow and that should take, I don't know, sometimes upwards of like 10 days to arrive. Hopefully it's not gonna be that long because I placed this order a while ago. So anyways, I have a couple of new keychains coming in that order. I'm also restocking some old ones. So I wanna make some stickers for those keychains for my keychain storage. So that's the plan. I'm gonna finish this tote bag and then go get ready. Cancel every plan, catch up on the bachelor. We'll still laugh again. The day we kept it simple. Always used to worry, always in a hurry. Let all of the minutes just fly by. Focus on the wrong things, double tap and scroll and fall asleep while asking myself why. The world closed down, stuck inside this town Home with the family on the reality Four walls and a door, nothing's like before You and me and no distractions So let's just keep it simple Okay, I just showered and I'm about to clean the office Duncan is in a plate pen outside the door But I have a bunch of boxes on the ground That's from the sewing machine I have a yarn package These are boxes of cans So I want to just like clear up the floor to start.
Okay, I think this looks a whole lot better. It's so much cleaner. Um, don't love this, it's obviously an eyesore, but we don't have a ton of storage in here, so that might just have to stay. Those are cans for candles, like I was saying. Um, I put a pink tablecloth on this table just to make it a little cuter. I love it. Um, and I'm gonna work on these candles in a minute after this clip, I'm gonna fix the sinkholes. It's still cluttered here. This is pop-up stuff, so that's gonna stay. I might talk to Sean and see if we can get rid of this. And then I just put my sewing machine here for now. The desk is all cleared. But it was mostly the ground that was an issue. So, feeling good. And then as you saw, I added a bin here. I added the pink one. And I put, these were in the green one. I put them in here. And then I put some pop-up shopping bags in here. That's just overstock. And I have more overstock on the bottom. So, yeah. I'm liking how it's looking. Let's do these candles. Wake up this morning Make the mistake of turning on the TV Nothing but bad news Empty ever news Rolling on the screen Oh Walk to the kitchen And make myself a, a cup of coffee Wave at the old man Get into something saying oh. The candles are looking good I just fixed the sinkholes and trimmed the wicks And I'm gonna have to make stickers for them later Like the scent stickers But right now I'm gonna make some more stickers Cause like I was saying There's a couple of designs that I need to still restock On his balcony Oh Yeah we both have been stuck in our apartments for two months Too long We don't even get along But the world just fell apart Straight out of the blue So in my mind I whisper chow And I take myself to Tuscany Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah. Warm wind blowing and birds are singing in cypress trees. Tuscany, Italy, eating carbonara and reading Machiavelli. While the world ends, that's where I will be. Go back to my room. I pick up the laptop to join a work call. I don't think it ran. That she's wearing her sweatshirt inside out Oh, water on my plants And I, I just might I take a painting Read every book Then I'll learn to cook from videos and online Oh, yeah, we all have been stuck in our apartments for two months I just made some stickers and restocked And it is 1.35 right now I think I'm gonna make this TikTok about the Timu products I made a spreadsheet, not a spreadsheet, I made a Word document or like a Google Doc where I put all the things I'm going to show and then the price so that I can just reference that when I edit the TikTok. So yeah, I'm excited. I feel like this TikTok has potential to gain traction, so. Then I learned to cook from videos and learn. oh. Yeah, we all have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long, we don't even get Long, but the world just fell apart uh, Straight out of the blue So in my mind I whisper chow And I take myself to Tuscany, Italy Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field Yeah, warm wind blowing And birds are singing in cypress trees Tuscany, Italy Eating carbonara and read my cabin It is 4.15 right now I edited the TikTok and posted it I don't think I'm gonna put that one on Instagram, but I do wanna put the latest like packing video I did for TikTok on Instagram. So I think I'm gonna do that right now. Also, I went live briefly on TikTok to like show all my keychains. And I think I'm also gonna make the stickers for the candles right now because the goal is to not be staying up late prepping this Friday, Sean and I always seem to stay up late working on candles and things the night before market. So, not doing that today. Gotta get these stickers done right now. That's the plan and feeling good that it's only 4.15 and I'm like pretty ready for tomorrow. I've charged the GoPro. I'm charging my square. Let's make these candle stickers. Where 
Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah. Warm wind blowing and birds are singing in cypress trees. Tuscany, Italy, eating carbonara and read Machiavelli. While the world ends, that's where I will be. Honestly, I can just like see myself chilling. and I finished the candles, packed them up for tomorrow. The market is 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., which is super quick. That's probably the shortest market that we've done. But yeah, I can't say I hate a short market. I do like a short market. And that's the only market this weekend, so this is a pretty late weekend. I feel like getting the new bins and like just revamping the office a little bit made me a bit more motivated and I don't know, I love my little business. I love the space and I'm very happy and grateful that I get to do this. And obviously I put the work in too, but I'm still just, it's just I'm, I love it so much. So thank you for watching too. If you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber, I so, so appreciate it. And I love making videos and I love that people watch them. <laughs> so I really, really do appreciate it and yeah, I just wanted to say that, but I will see you for the market. It's the next morning. It's 8.40 and we're just about to leave. It's about 45 minutes to get there, so we should get there around 9.30. And we're on the lawn. There's like lawn and street vendors, uh, but we just don't know exactly where we are because it's first come, first serve. So we're getting there kind of early so that we can hopefully get a good spot. But yeah, I will see you when we get there. Like I said, it's 11 to 3.
3.22. I'm laughing because my hair is like crazy. <laughs> but the fair is over. We just finished packing up. I don't know what's been going on, but this was another, I can't take myself seriously. This was another like super slow fair. I don't know what's happening. Um, <laughs> also don't know what's happening with the hair. I mean, it was a shorter fair, but honestly that kind of made me think it would be busier the whole time because people have less of a window to come and check it out. Yeah, I think we made like $200, $250. The fee was only 50, but again, we were anticipating over like $600. It's like a typical, okay, that was a good fare for us. There was just like barely any foot traffic, um, which is unfortunate, but here's hoping the next fare is gonna be a good one. We have one next Saturday. Um, also, I'm pretty happy because I got some awesome pottery. Every fair I go to, I look at the pottery and see if I'm drawn to anything. And I haven't been, like since starting, I don't think I've bought any pottery. And I finally found some pieces that I'm obsessed with. And the pricing was super good too. Cause pottery is, you know, pretty pricey, which is understandable. Um, but okay, this is not, I'll set you up here. Let me show you the pieces and then I'll let you know the price too. I have her card, but I don't think it's in this bag. Let me see if I can quickly pull up her card. Okay, I found her card. It's Kingdom of Ceramics, and I'm gonna show you the pieces in a minute in the next clip because Sean and I are going to an appointment for my laptop screen to see, get like an estimate, although we kind of know how much it's gonna cost, but that's like 20 minutes away. So when we get there, I'm staying inside the car with Duncan and I will show you the pottery. Okay, I'm back home. We ended up grabbing Chick-fil-A, so I ate that in the car when we were at the computer appointment. So I'm filming this at home. But the first thing I got is this teacup. It was $25. And this is gonna be my new fall cup. Are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. I'm actually in love with this. I think it is the cutest mug ever. So I got that. And then I also got, I got three things. Another mug. This mug was only $10. Are you kidding me? It says love on the inside, and then there's a bunch of hearts. So, so cute. Obviously, the hearts match my branding. And then the last thing I got is this potter. It has a bunch of cacti on it, and it also has the drainage hole on the bottom. So, I think I'm going to repot my cactus into this because it's in a pretty small pot right now. So, I might do that later, but... And I might put this in my office. But we'll see. So, yeah. These three things, all from Ceramic Kingdom. I think that's what the name was let me check one more time kingdom of ceramics so go check her out um she said she's online but it's kind of hard for her to keep up to date with her website so i'm sure if you dm her she can let you know what she has i said that last time about the earrings but that tends to be a thing with vendors who are doing markets it's hard to do markets and a website and just keep up with everything but yeah oh i'm just so in love with these okay i'm gonna end the video here i really hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for a future punch noodle video. I'm 95% gonna film that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.